We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I've got the great pleasure of being in the studio today with Jean-Paul Sheb, who is uh, from LS Telcom SAS. Jean-Paul, thank you very much, or JP, uh, as, as you prefer to be called. Uh, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Well, thank you for having me, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, LS Telcom and uh, what you do and what are the main developments that you're working on. It's a very open-ended question, so I'll try to be brief, but not too brief. Uh, LS Telcom is an engineering company, and we provide solutions, software and hardware solutions for the management of the radio spectrum, the RF spectrum. Uh, therefore, our solutions are targeted at regulators, first and foremost at regulators, broadcasters, and telecom operators. LS Telcom is an international company by almost definition and given our market, headquartered in Germany, very close to the French border, and I'm heading the French uh, office of subsidiary out of, out of Paris. We're working on very exciting products at the moment, and I believe, especially in our business, we are at a, at a cornerstone, at a, at a turning point of uh, the product and services that we can offer to our customers. If I can be maybe a little bit segmented in two or three main uh, uh, lines of business that, that, that we have. Uh, the first is spectrum management. Spectrum management systems have been around for a while. Uh, today we are pushing the envelope in, in two main directions. The first is e-licensing. E-government is becoming a reality. It used to be a theory, now it is a reality. And uh, by pushing that to, to, the, to the next level, and I mean by that having, uh, it, being able to do some of the um, uh, spectrum management on mobile, we're doing it online in cloud services, we are providing huge value to our customers. The second is the spectrum monitoring. Uh, in the, I would say the old days, but traditional systems are always based on a posteriori monitoring. You have a problem, you call the regulator and they go and find out what happened. Today we're able to do continuous monitoring. We're almost, you know, like able to predict uh, uh, interference before it happens, but at least we're able to find out what happened after the facts by continuously monitoring the spectrum, uh, raising alarms. So these are the two, let's say, main uh, uh, developments we're working on right now. And how does LS Telecom contribute to making the world, uh, as they've been talking about here, better sooner? In many, many different ways, and they're all quite exciting. Uh, first and foremost, uh, our customers, as I said, were, are essentially regulators who themselves have customers or stakeholders, operators, and then eventually the public. By bringing the levels of automation and, and uh, e-licensing to the next level, we make the lives of our uh, customers much easier. We make the work much faster. We make things happen much sooner. By being able to issue licenses fast, by being able to make decisions based on facts and, and data and analysis, we're able to bring technology much faster to the market. Some practical examples. The digital transition. When, it's, when we're about, for example, to replan the uh, digital TV to make way for digital dividend and, and mobile licenses. Being able to do that in an efficient and fast manner brings next, the next technologies and next licenses, 5G, closer to our door. So that's sooner and it is also better. Fantastic. And in terms of collaboration, how important is collaboration in industry for you? And uh, perhaps you could give us an example of that. Definitely. Collaboration in the industry is essential. We're in a niche market. We're lucky enough, but it can also be a curse to be, I consider, the leader in that market. Uh, nevertheless, our, our customers have uh, existing systems. They have legacy systems. They cannot always go for the best, which means <laughs> Stelcom, in my opinion. Uh, and therefore, we need to work with the existing systems that they have. We also, even though we try to be the best at everything we do, we cannot be the best in everything. I give you some practical examples. Um, when it comes to consulting work, we do quite a lot of consulting work. We sometimes need very narrow expertise, for example, in, in um, uh, economics, in uh, telecom law. And therefore, we partner with uh, established law firms or established uh, economics firms to help us provide the best value for customers. We work with uh, equipment manufacturers, uh, the likes of, of Thales, the likes of Roden Schwartz, who have very good equipment um, uh, and with sometimes already deployed at the customer. And our systems need to work with their systems to provide the best value to our customers. And finally, I'd like to ask you a question. I've been asking everybody who comes into the studio here. Why is it important for you to be here? What's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? We've been coming to ITU Telecom World 
as long as I've, at least I've been with the company and even in, in the industry. Uh, obviously, ITU Telecom is where a lot of regulators meet, a lot of decisions are made. Uh, it's extremely useful for us to be there because it's a one-stop shop to meet our customers, to meet partners, to meet the industry. So there's both, uh, I would say, value in what we do, but there's also value in the history. When you've been doing the same thing for 20 years and it works, I think it's a good idea to continue doing it. Jeffrey Chef, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having me.